Hi, good day folks, this is Sijish and this video I will walk you through the configuration of Ambari views. So mainly I am configuring Ambari file view here. So you can access HDFS file system uh, by using different uh, methods. One is using command line. So you can execute HDFS commands from the command line for accessing the files, uploading, changing the permissions, deleting, etc. The same thing you can do from Ambari views. So, okay. So this is my Ambari. So I'm logging with admin, admin. So which is a super user for this Ambari console. And there are different ways we can create or we can add users to Ambari. So I have already explained that in my previous videos that you can integrate with LDAP or Active Directory services so that whatever the users we create in that LDAP or AD will be available here also. Or else you can manually create the user. So from here, from admin, so click manage Ambari, then uh, go to users, manage users and group, then here you can create a new user. So this will create a user in its uh, local Okay, so you can integrate with AD so that AD users will be available here also. I'm going to create a local user here. Like, so this is my username and status active or disabled. So I'm just keeping in active. And there is an option Ambari admin or non admin. So I'm selecting no because this is a non admin user and type the password here. Confirm the password. Right. Save it. So now you can see one more user is created and uh, this user is, I would be able to uh, log in here with this user. So see how can I log in. So, so once this is done, see I'm getting like this. So no use, nothing is there. Only user able to log in. Okay. So I need to configure the views for this user. Just go to the admin. So I can control what are the views this particular user can access. Okay, as an admin, so we would be able to access all the views. Okay, but I am configuring a views for this particular user. So you can configure that. Okay, so I am just configuring the file views. Select that file views, and here you can uh, assign whatever the users or whatever the groups you need to add or whatever the local uh, permission group so i'm just adding that user here right then save that change that's it then log out and login so login with this user yes this time i have got file views so if if you are uh, providing this file views to the users mainly the developers or uh, other non admin users so they can access the files or they can uh, do everything from this file views just click that file view either from uh, this grid here or from here itself just click and uh, so initially doing some service check then after that you are getting a page like this so this is something like under slash everything all the directories under slash inside hdfs is displaying here apps logs apps ats http etc so if if you do it from the command prompt okay so let me log into that user then hdfs dfs iphone ls slash so whatever the output display here is the same as this one so we will see what is the output apps log apps ats etc and here it's showing the permission ownership modified time etc the same thing here also it's showing and okay so i'm with this user and i may not have access on this because it's owned by this uh, different different users so if i try to create a directory here just click new folder uh, so cg underscore test and try to add that yes it's failing because see if you just click the details and you can see this user doesn't have access permission on this the same thing will happen here also if you just use hdfs dfs iphon mkdir slash uh, xyz or something something 
so you will get that permission denied message why because you don't have permission to inside that directory but we will have the permission inside uh, the directories which are shared to this particular user say for example in our case so we have a uh, under slash user this directory so this is my home directory and here i will have the permission to create the folder so i can create the folder like okay test one two three yes add it yes so this directory is created so the same thing <coughs> i can do from here also hdfs dfs iphone mkdir slash user so some uh, random name i'm giving yes i'm able to do so if i just do hdfs dfs ls and under this directory and i can see whatever the directories which i created see so here you can create the directories you can upload the files and you can change the permission lot of things you can do from here okay say for example i'm just i just want to delete this or say for example a file or a directory whatever it may be so one file file 3 so i have option to open this so if you just open so this will open in the console here and will display the content and if you want to rename file3.txt a new name i can give whatever the name file3 underscore new so this is something like renaming and uh, <coughs> changing the permission also we can do from here like if if you have the owners or if you have the permission on this you can change the permission like read write execute okay i'm giving the full permission to this one so initially rw rr only so just save that then once done and if you do a refresh then you can see uh, this permission might have changed just refresh that yes right and uh, <clears throat> similarly we can do delete copy move download etc so download means it will download to our local uh, windows file system or uh, wherever you are accessing this url and you can concatenate two files okay so just uh, click on abc and concatenate means you need uh, two files so these two files you can concatenate so this join together and you will get that result downloaded here so you can upload some files from the windows or wherever you are accessing this one so it's very easy for developers to upload you can just click here and uh, upload whatever the files you want to upload uh, say for example this file i'm uploading okay so this is uploaded here you can see see this is the file uploaded so we can create the new folder or we can select everything and delete so a lot of operation uh, functions or operations that we use with hdfs so graphically we can do so this is very helpful for the developers and they can uh, easily access their hdfs file system and they can use this option to upload files delete the files changing the ownership permissions etc so i hope you like the content and if you have any questions so please uh, use the comment box i will try to address that and also if you have not subscribed to my channel so please do subscribe I will be adding lot more contents over time. Thank you. Bye.